device. Electrolysis. Chemical effects of electric current. I will tell you about the, how we can write down. And uh, yesterday we discussed about the electrolysis and all that. Just go through once again, right? How we will write down if the question will come, then uh, tell yeah to show that how the uh, distilled water is a poor conductor of electricity. What do you will do for this thing to show that the uh, distilled water is a poor conductor of electricity? What you will do? You will take a beaker, okay? Take a beaker and take a distilled water in it. Right, you will take distilled water. Okay, after that, before this, look here. First, you will, what you will do, you will take up wires, bulb, switch. Right, like this. What you will do, you will take these two wires together, join the switch together and see what will happen. When you will bring these bare ends of this wire, bulb will glow. Getting my point? Is it clear to everyone what I am doing? What I am doing, if I will just set up an apparatus, switch, a switch, bulb, battery, wires, join the bare end of the wire and we will observe that the bulb will glow. That indicates that the apparatus to have that is accurate. Right? Now what we will do, we checked about it, now what we will do, we will put these wires into the beaker containing distilled water. Right? We will put this wire, these wires into the distilled water. Now what we will observe, bulb will not glow. But we will observe that the bulb will not glow. Which indicates that distilled water do not conduct electricity because it do not dissociate, it do not have ions, it do not have salts or impurities. It do not dissociate, it do not dissociate into ions, it do not have the ions. That's why bulb will not be getting my point how you will prove that the distilled water is a poor conductor of electricity first you will write down we will set uh, take the wire join with the battery and the bulb and the switch after this bring the beer ends closer beer ends bring close to one another and touch with and we will observe that the bulb will flow which indicates that our apparatus is absolutely right right then put these wires into the big, uh, beaker which is having the distilled water. After some time we will see the bulb will not glow, bulb does not glow, which indicates that it do not have the ions that it do not conduct electricity. Is it clear or any doubt to anyone how we will write down? Means first we will touch the bare ends of the wire, then we will put it into the beaker so that it clear ho jai, the apparatus is absolutely okay. Otherwise, we are having a different condition. Might be the bulb fuse. That's why it's not working. Connection loose. To check the connection and the bulb, we have to touch the bare ends to see is it okay or not. If the bulb glows, that means absolutely okay. After that, we will put it on the beaker and observe that the bulb is glowing or not. Here, beta. Right? Then the second one, Electrolysis or the electroplating. What we had discussed here, we can say ki how we can say ya, to show the chemical effects of electrolysis. To show the chemical effects of electric current. 
डांस एक्टिविटी को दोबारा एक बार ओथ कर लो टू शो दैट द केमिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट बट वी विल डू वी विल अगेन टेक अ बीकर इन दिस बीकर ठीक है वी विल टेक अ बीकर वी विल टेक टू रोड्स कार्बन रोड्स फ्रॉम वेयर वी विल गेट दीस कार्बन रोड्स वी विल वी आर लाइक रिमूव द कार्बन रोड्स फ्रॉम द ड्राई सेल already all of you know that in sixth class also you made the diagram of the pet cell banaya tha carbon rods are there so we will take the carbon rods okay we will take carbon rods from the dry cell uh take it as go remove ya yeah, you can say clean it with the sand paper then right Like here we will not take anything. You can switch up and ask us too. You can make the switch over here, right? Okay, no bulb. We will not take the bulb. It will show the chemical effect of electric current. Okay, two rods, carbon rods. We will extract or we will remove it from the dry cell. Then clean it with the sandpaper. Then sandpaper can be cleaned by adding the wire and all that. Now, but we will take in this beaker. We will take water in a beaker. But we will take in this beaker. We will take the water, distilled water, adding a little amount of a pinch of salt in it to make it a good conductor. Why we are taking the distilled water? We are not taking the tap water because in tap water, number of the other impurities are also there. So that's why what we want to show that we just take the distilled water so that it is remove of impurities and then we add the pinch of salt in it. Pinch of salt why we are adding to make it a good conductor. We will take a pinch of salt. ठीक है इसमें हमने क्या करा salt add करा to make it a good conductor. स्विच ऑन कर देंगे बट विल हैपन द वॉटर अब ये जो वॉटर है इट डी कम्पोज डी कम्पोजिशन मतलब ब्रेक डाउन बाई पासिंग इलेक्ट्रिक करंट एंड वी आर पासिंग द इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इट विल गिव राइज द हाइड्रोजन प्लस ऑक्सीजन गैस इट डिसोसिएट इन टू हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन गैस बाई पासिंग द इलेक्ट्रिक करंट सो दीज गैसेज वेयर दे विल गो Hydrogen being a positive, it will attract or it will move towards the cathode. That is the negative. And on this positive side, we will again see the bubble over here also. That is of oxygen. Is it clear, Vite? Is it clear? Is it clear, Vicha? Yaha be bubbles of oxygen because oxygen negative. And bubbles of hydrogen because hydrogen is positive and it will move to the negative side. Means when these kind of question will come, so what we will write down? We we will just explain this thing. One is anode that is a positive and cathode is negative, right? Then we will take a distilled water, add a pinch of salt in it. Okay, we make sure these two, your hand, it should not be dipped in the water. Okay. Then by passing the electric current, we will observe after some time bubbles of the gases on both the electrodes. Yeah, these are the carbon rods. These are carbon rods. Because I told you carbon is a non-metal graphite rod because this is a good conductor. Exemption we have done. Graphite is a good conductor, so we will take the carbon rod because they can easily pass the current to it. Distilled water. Add a pinch of salt. We will not add more salt in it because otherwise salt will dissociate into ions. So, we will just add a pinch of salt to make it a good conductor. Is it clear, Vita? 
is this clear bachche right now just tell me what what is the definition of electrolysis electrolysis kya hai what is electrolysis kya hai electrolysis jo maine yahan likha yes bani unmute yourself bani the decomposition of uh, electrolytes when electric current is passed through it, it this process is known as electrolysis yes ab look here what the definition is the decomposition of an electrolyte here electrolyte kya hai water plus salt so decomposition of an electrolyte theek hai when electric current is passed through it decomposition ho gayi iski by passing electric current through it that is called electrolysis that is called electrolysis is this clear beta is this point clear to everyone bachche ye point clear hua hai sabko right if the question will come how can we show that the water is a bad or distilled water is a bad conductor the that activity if this will come how can we show that the chemical effects of electric current we will explain in this okay after that electroplating up this is so we had discussed chemical effect now the next is electroplating what is electroplating again you can answer this one what is electroplating the coating of the method the process of anything we can write the process of coating of the metal surface the process of coating of a metal surface with other material metal is called electroplating theek okay? hai look here now what we will do in electroplating here we will take a beaker theek hai hum yahan beaker lenge we will take a beaker right in this beaker we will take two rods electrodes one is for uh, it is so one is copper rod and other one is iron rod this is copper rod and this is iron rod we will set up an apparatus like in this way switch and all that right now we will not show the bubbles in this way now what we will take we will take acid five acid five copper sulfate solution and just write in the symbol copper sulfate theek hai ab isme se kya liya copper ek rod kya hai copper other one is the iron now what will happen we the copper sulfate as we have discussed about the electrolysis ki decomposition of an electrolyte here the electrolyte is Acidified copper sulfate. The composition of an electrolyte by passing electric current into ions. Right? I'm not writing here. You can just note down the number of copper ion. Okay, ion sulfate. Like this, it will dissociate. It will dissociate into free ions. No need to learn that. Ki uh, SO two negative. Kuch bhi learn nahi karna. Apne SO four two negative. Just understand. Ki this is an electrolyte. Okay, on passing the electrolyte, this will dissociate into free ions. Okay, you can just write down here free ions of copper and sulfur. I'm just explaining the free ion of copper and sulfur. When the copper or sulfur get free ions release out of it, then this copper being a positive, it will attract towards the negative load. ये इसके ऊपर एक thin layer बना दो. इसके ऊपर रेडिश ब्राउन कोटिंग यू विल ऑब्जर्व वी विल ऑब्जर्व आफ्टर सम टाइम कॉपर का देखो कॉपर वायर ऑल ऑफ यू हैव सीन 
कॉपर यू टेक्सर यू हैव सीन दिस कॉपर के रेडिश ब्राउन कलर होता है रेडिश ब्राउन कोटिंग वी विल सी ऑन दिस आयरन रोड दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रोप्लेट दिस इज एन इलेक्ट्रोप्लेट व्हेन वी वांट टू कवर द वन मेटल विद द अदर मेटल तो वो मेटल हमने यहां ले लिया ठीक है एसिडिफाइड कॉपर सल्फेट व्हेन इट डिसोसिएट इनटू थ्री आयंस बीइंग अ कॉपर इट इज अ पॉजिटिव इट्स नेगेटिव positive will move towards the negative and the very thin layer deposited on the other layer any doubt any doubt i'm just showing you the video have a look is it visible visible hai bani ओके अभी दिस नेकलेस इज नॉट उजेंड ओनली रुपीज टू थाउजेंड एक सेकेंड बेटा Look here. No, Ravi. This necklace it costs. Do you see this gold necklace? It costs only rupees two thousand. No, Ravi. This necklace is not made up of gold. It is only coated with gold, which is not permanent. Welcome to the lesson on chemical effects of electric current. At the end of this lesson, we will be able to. identify the chemical effects of electric current demonstrate the chemical effects of electric current understand the process of electroplating list the uses of electroplating mom what effect does current produce in a solution that conducts electricity to find this let us do an activity Look take two carbon yeah, rods and wrap copper wires around the metal caps of carbon rods and join them to a battery now pour some water in a beaker and immerse the electrodes in the water add some salt to the water to start the conduction observe the solution and tell me what you are able to see i can see gas bubbles near the electrodes but what does this indicate mom the passage of an electric current to a conducting solution causes chemical reactions as a result bubbles of a gas may be formed on the electrodes deposits of metal may be seen on electrodes changes of color of solution may occur in 1800 a british chemist william nicholson had shown that if electrodes were immersed in water and a current was passed bubbles of oxygen and hydrogen were produced oxygen bubbles formed on the electrode connected to the positive terminal of the battery and hydrogen bubbles formed on the negative terminal mom what happened to your necklace it is not shining the same as it was shining a month ago the gold coating has faded and worn off how is this coating done mom let us do an activity to understand this for this activity we will require two copper plates and some copper sulfate first add two teaspoons full of copper sulfate in distilled water now we take two clean and dry copper plates and immerse them in copper sulfate solution connect these copper plates to the terminals of a battery now allow current to pass for 15 minutes copper sulfate dissociate into copper and sulfate free copper gets drawn to electrode connected to negative terminal of the battery and gets deposited on it this way it gets coated but mom what about the loss of copper from solution from other electrode an equal amount of copper gets dissolved in solution and thus the process continues look here what they are saying they will take this one but he asked ki what will happen When the copper sulfate from the electrolyte, like the from the solution, it disappears. When the finished, it's gone. 
या यूज का हो गया था पर्टवे था दिस कॉपर नोड इट विल आल्सो रिलीज इट्स कॉपर इन दिस सो दैट द बैलेंस इज ओके मतलब रिमेन्स बैलेंस रहेगा अदरवाइज यहां पे सॉल्यूशन में कॉपर जो है दैट विल फिनिश्ड अप सो वी आर नॉट एबल टू डू इट सो दिस कॉपर विल रिलीज इट्स आयंस इनटू द सॉल्यूशन दैट्स वेयर द बैलेंस इज मेंटेड लुक हियर that means copper gets transferred from one electrode to another exactly that's correct the process of depositing a layer of any desired metal on another material by means of electricity is called electroplating what are the uses of electroplating mom electroplating is used in industry for coating metal objects with thin layer of different metal chromium plating is done on many objects because of its shiny appearance and resistance to corrosion and scratches also electroplating of gold and silver is done on cheap metals to make less expensive ornaments tin cans used for storing food is made by electroplating tin into iron tin is less reactive than iron thus food does not come into contact with iron and is protected from getting spoiled iron used in bridges and automobiles are coated with zinc to protect from corrosion and formation of rust at the end of this lesson we are able to identify the chemical effects of electric current demonstrate the chemical effects and ji is it clear is it clear now everyone uh, process of the cap how we can show that bottle is a bad conductor or distilled water is a bad conductor and some other activities sir we will see with the help of the bulb if the question will come to show the chemical effect of electric current then we will write show the activity with the bubbles also when the electroplating is here then we can do like this ठीक है नंबर मतलब थ्री फोर एक्टिविटीज आर देयर तो यू हैव टू जस्ट टू आइडेंटिफाई व्हाट दे आर एक्चुअली आस्किंग इफ द क्वेश्चन कैन मॉडिफाई लाइक वी वन ऑर्नामेंट इज देयर या वन दिस इज देयर तो व्हिच प्रोसेस इट इज फॉलोइंग सो देन यू कैन राइट डाउन बट यू कैन से कि ज्वेलरी हर मदर कोई भी है ना अबनीज मदर इज हैविंग द सिल्वर ज्वेलरी एंड बट आफ्टर सम टाइम इट इज जस्ट अ हिस्ट्री बैंड सॉरी she went to the jeweler and told her to change it into the uh, gold plated then what is this process actually this is process is called electro plating kya kiya jeweler ne electro plated yani ki silver jewelry ke upar ek coating kar di gold ki theek hai to make it less expensive otherwise if you want to purchase the gold ornament that will be very costly theek hai to just to make it a less expensive we can use it the electro plating other feature of electroplating kya hai protection hai as you had seen in the video also that what they are doing to prevent the iron bridges and they are saying the tin cans tin cans jo hote they are less reactive with the food items whereas the iron is more reactive as all of you know calcium and calcium when you did not in potassium mali apni career activity series so iron is more reactive than the tin so if we will put the food you keep the food in the iron container iron tin so what will happen iron will react with the food items to make it poisonous that's why we are what we are doing electro plated material so that it is less reactive and it will not interfere with the food matlab it will not react with the food as compared to the iron that's why we are doing some of the things we want the uh, durability we need so for that one we need the iron object but if iron object we uh, we will place it in the atmosphere in the air as it is so it will rust it how we can protect it by electro plating is this point clear bete anyone is having any doubt anyone is having any doubt then you can ask okay fir iske baad ek hamara topic jo what we had discussed is after this electro plating now electro plating is very good we are using the protection as well as the uh, decoration purposes we are using but electro plating jo factories hain jo electro plating factories hoti hai na because we are what we are using chemical disposal is used conducting solution is a major process ye jo solution we are using because this is a chemical it is a major problem kyun major problem hai ye 
because ye jo solutions hai these are acidic in nature or the basic we can say and most of these as the electrolytes they contain salts theek hai which may be poisonous and used in electroplating and pollute the environment polluting the environment you can say when these will be exposed of in the water bodies so it will harm the aquatic animals theek hai and aquatic animals will die because of the presence of the large chemical in it theek hai so we have to follow specific disposal guidelines how we can protect it how we can protect the aquatic animals we have to follow the specific guidelines given by the government theek hai hame jo guidelines milti hain specific disposal guidelines we have to follow to protect our environment how we can clean the water uh, how we can clean the acid water how we can make it the in matlab uh, less harmful as compared it is releasing from the industry so we have to follow the specific guidelines we have to follow the specific guidelines so that when we are disposing these material into the water body or in the soil wherever so they will not harm that otherwise it is very very major concern or threat to the environment because these chemicals when they went into the water bodies to aquatic life were disturbed ho jayegi when they went on the roads or the, the soil will absorb this then the soil becomes acidic then soil acidic we are not able to grow crops if the soil is more acidic or a basic we are not growing able to grow crops so all these features this is a major threat to the environment because what we are using in the case of electrolyte chemicals is it clear beta but we are using chemicals so disposal of electrolyte after electroplating is a very very main uh, you can say major concern or threat to the environment it causes the pollution in the form of the water pollution as well as in the form of the soil pollution is it clear